This video will cover methods used to properly install a vinyl window in a new construction stud frame application. Methods described in this video are based on the ASTM E2112 standard. The procedure outlined here is method B, prior to application of a weather resistive barrier. Start by verifying all measurements. Verify that the windows and openings are properly sized and in a sound condition. Next, prepare and cut your flashing material. The sill flashing must be cut sufficiently long enough to extend past each side of the window so that it projects even with the vertical jam flashing that will be applied later. This means that an extension of 9 inches is required on both ends of the sill flashing when using 9 inch flashing. Next, cut the flashings for the rest of the window. Cut the flashings for the jam sides so that the length extends beyond the bottom of the window vertically approximately 8.5 inches, leaving the flashing 1 half inch short from the bottom of the sill flashing. And to extend beyond the top of the window an additional 8.5 inches so that the head flashing will overlap the jam flashing by half an inch. Also, cut the head flashing to overlap the jam flashing by 1 half inch on each side when applied horizontally. Apply the first strip of flashing material horizontally along the sill. The side should extend so that the flashing is even with the vertical jam flashing that will be applied later. The flashing must be fastened at the top edge so that the nailing fin covers the fasteners when the window is installed. Do not fasten the bottom edge or the ends extending beyond the sides of the opening so that a weather resistive barrier may be properly installed in weatherboard fashion. Starting at each jam, install the flashing cut for the jams against the rough framed opening and fasten them in place overlapping the sill flashing. Make sure that the nailing fin of the window can cover the fasteners on the inside of the flashing next to the opening when it is installed. Do not fasten the bottom 9 inches of the jam flashing. The window may now be installed into the rough framed opening using acceptable fasteners. Apply a 3 8 inch continuous bead of sealant to the inside perimeter of the nailing fin, making sure that the sealant is in line with and covering the pre-punched holes in the nailing fin. Do not leave any holes uncovered. Immediately set the window into the rough framed opening, pulling the nailing fin against the sheathing. Bed the window into the sealant and against the sheathing to form a gasket between the window and the sheathing. With the window set in the opening, a single fastener should be installed on the upper corner of the window to hold the window in place. This fastener should be at least 3 inches from the corner of the frame. Once this has been done, check the window for plumb, level, and square. When installing operable windows, it is a good idea to check the reveal of the vent during the installation process. To do this, Close the vent almost all the way, and check the reveal where the vent meets with the main frame. It should be even across the entire length. Apply additional fasteners at a minimum of 10 inch intervals while continually checking plumb, level, and square. Fasteners applied at the corner should be located at least 3 inches from the corner in any direction. Check the operating sashes and lock mechanisms to ensure smooth operation and function during and after the installation procedure. Additional shimming may be required on jam sides or sill to produce an accurate and true installation. Avoid overdriving fasteners that may cause the window to distort or bind. To apply the head flashing, apply a 3 8 inch continuous bead of sealant to the nailing fin at the head of the installed window, covering the pre-punched holes and fasteners previously installed. Apply the head flashing by bedding it into the sealant previously applied, overlapping it 1 inch on each side of the jam flashing and secure it with fasteners to the sheath. Taking the time to properly install a window will help to ensure long-lasting operation of your vinyl windows. For additional help and information, please contact AMSCO Windows or visit amscowindows.com.